This is your weekend news roundup, a summary of the major news stories of the week in 101 seconds. I am Kim Lee Levy. Just two weeks into the new year, Jamaica has recorded over 50 murders. A nine-year-old boy was killed after being abducted during a carjacking in the community of Estuary in St. James on Thursday morning. The child's body, which had the throat slashed, was found in the vehicle, which was abandoned in Fairfield Estate. Prime Minister Andrew Holness has reshuffled his cabinet, with changes being made at the Ministries of Transport, Education and Agriculture. The cabinet reshuffle also sees the creation of the Ministry of Legal and Constitutional Affairs. The president of the Medical Association of Jamaica, MAJ, has said there is no evidence of a so-called bad flu in Jamaica. Dr. Brian James has based this on the results of tests conducted by the University Hospital of the West Indies. Jamaica's chief medical officer, Dr. Jacqueline Bisesa mackenzie has disclosed that all major hospitals across the country have now reached 90% of their capacity. The disclosure comes amid a record increase in COVID-19 cases as well as in the country's positivity rate. Meanwhile, the health ministry is reminding persons that if they develop mild flu-like symptoms, they should remain at home, monitor themselves and observe infection prevention and control measures. That was your Weekend News Roundup, a summary of the major news stories of the week in 101 seconds. I am Kim Lee Levy. Keep safe and have a great weekend. Love 101's Weekend Roundup is brought to you by Jamaica Customs Agency. Country above self.